Hi everyone and welcome back. So before starting with the form tag provided by Formic, we will extend our validations. I mean, uh, currently we were showing the error message without even user entered in that particular field. So that can be fixed by adding this touched property in the render. So here we are doing check here that user has interacted with that field and that field has an error then only add this invalid class and then only show this particular message same thing goes for every field here we are checking touch.email property and error.email then only add this is invalid class or the touch.email is there and error.email is there then only show this message okay so earlier it was different earlier we how we were doing it uh, we were doing it a little differently I will just control Z and we'll try to show you the actual picture Okay. okay this is how we were doing it right we were just checking the errors dot name but what we need to do we need to access the props dot touched property also here so this particular field has been touched and it has an error then only show this invalid class here and similarly we can do this here what we can do is props dot touched cost dot touch dot email sorry it should be the name cost dot touch dot name property then only show this message so we can just wrap it around the bracket okay this was just a two lines of code we just added a condition check and we are getting it from the props later what we change we have done is we have destructured it we are getting everything from here itself using destructuring what we can do is we can just get uh, values dot handle submit handle blur all the changes we have done so this is my final code look like handle change handle submit okay and I'm just checking all these checks on every component like touch dot email touch dot errors dot email then only show this is invalid class this is added for all the components and these are the basic validation we have already done right so now we have done these basic form validations with HTML5 form we're not using the form we provided form tag but in the next video we will use that and we will reduce the lines of code we are using here because this is like a duplicate we are doing handle change handle error and Formic is just converting this whole tag into just a two lines of code. So that will give us a lot of relief. Okay. Thanks everyone.